Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjit and you're watching Dr. Education. Today I'm going to talk about acne and we have already done a video on that topic explaining the basics about acne. Today I'm going to talk about how you can help yourself. Self-care in acne. If you want to know about health and have health concerns, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified about all upcoming videos. Acne is already, as we've already discussed, acne is a skin condition that causes pimples or zits, sometimes white heads, sometimes black heads, and red inflamed papules on the skin. These most often occur on your face or on your shoulders. Now, acne occurs when a tiny holes on the surface of your skin become clogged and these holes are called pores. These pores can become clogged by substances on your surface of the skin or when the skin itself produces plugs. These acne breakouts can be triggered by hormonal changes, use of oily skin or hair care products, certain medications, sweat, humidity and diet. So diet also has a role. But what can you do about it? Let's discuss the daily skin care here. To keep your pores from clogging and your skin from becoming too oily, what you can do? Cleanse your skin gently with a mild non-drying soap. It may help to use a wash with salicylic acid or benzoyl if your skin is oily and prone to acne so that you remove all the dirt or any makeup which is there. Wash in this way once or twice a day and also after every exercise routine. Avoid scrubbing or repeated skin washings. Shampoo your hair daily, especially if it is oily. Comb and pull your hair back to keep the hair out of your face. Avoid using rubbing alcohol or toner that are very drying to the skin. So toners should not be drying or alcohol or, or alcohol based. So acne medicines, some acne medicines can cause skin drying or peeling. So use a moisture or a skin cream that is water based or non comedogenic or that clearly states that it is safe to use on face and will not cause acne. Then a small amount of sun exposure may actually improve acne slightly but tanning mostly just hides it. Too much exposure to the sun or in tanning booths increase the risk of skin cancer. Some acne medicines can make your skin more sensitive to sun. So use a sunscreen and use hats regularly whenever you go out. There is no evidence that you need to avoid chocolates, milks or there is no medical evidence that you need to avoid chocolate, milk or high fat foods. High sugar intake on the other hand may lead to worsening acne. So avoid any of these foods if you find eating these foods seem to make acne worse. Only then you need to avoid. There is no actual evidence that foods, certain foods are causing acne. Now to further prevent acne, do not squeeze, scratch or prick or rub pimples. This can lead to skin infections and scarring. Avoid wearing tight headbands or a baseball cap and or any other hats if they are not needed, if you are not going out in the sun. Avoid touching your face repeatedly. Avoid greasy cosmetics or creams. Do not leave makeup on overnight. Now, there are so many acne medicines. If daily skincare does not help your blemishes, then you can try it. So that's the whole gist about the skincare, daily skincare regime. So the basic three step regime which I consider is the best is cleanse your face with a mild cleanser twice a day. Use a toner, alcohol free toner on your skin which does not dry your skin. And the third is an anti-acne over the counter medication. So this anti-acne over the counter medications can be used if a general skincare regime does not take care of your blemishes. So you can try products which contain benzoyl peroxide, salicylic acid, 
sulfur or resorcinol. Now, they work by killing the bacteria, drying up the skin oils or causing the top layer of the skin to peel. Remember, these products may cause redness or peeling of the skin, but these can be used. Then, if pimples are still a problem after you have tried over-the-counter medicines, after you tried these all these daily healthcare routines, then it's time to get in touch with your healthcare provider, with your doctor, with your dermatologist. They will prescribe you antibiotics in the form of pills or creams that you can put on your skin. There are prescription gels or creams containing retinoids to help you clear your pimples. Hormonal pills can be given to women whose acne is made worse by hormonal changes. Isotretinoin pills are there for very severe cases. Sometimes they might advise you for a laser procedure called photodynamic therapy and even chemical skin peelings can be done only by a doctor, a dermatologist. So that's the whole information about self-care, self-help on acne. So keep in touch guys. Do not forget to visit my channel, browse for many other videos just like this. And all this information is directly referenced from US International Medical Library. So you can trust these information. They are not just an opinion of a single doctor. It is accepted internationally and all my videos are similarly referenced so go have a look on my channel browse for your favorite healthcare topic and get the information which you need to take care of yourself till next time i'm dr paramji those who don't know me i'm a consultant physician cardiologist in yashoda super specialty hospital nehrunagar delhi ncr and this is my channel till next time stay connected stay healthy